bless you. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, my brother. How right. are you? I'm very good. I hope you're fine, too. Oh, thank you. I'm right. I'm sure you're already on the campaign trail and so already exhausted. <laughs> Somehow. Anyway. Good. Now, the, 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 the exercise to get Ghanaians, eligible Ghanaians uh, registered has just started. The first phase has ended. So far, your impressions? Initially, from the very day they started this, there were problems. There were so many challenges. Um, it was not easy to get the people to get to the centers. And when they got there, some of them were frustrated because of the queue. Right. They had to be on the queue for a very long time. And then, because it was the beginning, the people themselves, that means, were finding it difficult in the exercise. So it was very, very slow, mm. very slow. The first day I went to Teshi, from the morning, I think till about 2 p.m., they had only registered 20 people, and that was really slow. But now, as time went on, most of these people were getting more familiar with the exercise, right. and people were now coming, and it was uh, getting better. But other, other issues where you, you realize some people come in queue mm. and at the end of the day they are not able to get, get, registered. get registered. So they have to go back home and come back the next day. And when they go home and come back, the next day they have to come in queue again. And some of them were given numbers to come back and start, maybe to be the first people right. to, to start. But when they come, I think there were some kind of preferences for other people and they didn't get the chance. So a lot of them were getting upset and angry about this, the exercise. But I think in some areas we have this problem. In other areas we have a number of few people coming out, so the, the, the queue is moving uh, quite smooth. Quite smooth. Well, and the, the slow process of the exercise, do you think that at the end of the process it could have an effect on perhaps the number of people who would uh, finally get registered? I think that we have to look at it again because um, I think the first phase is 10 days, mm. and sometimes people have traveled. A lot of people live in one community and have gone to some other countries or have left the country, the, the town to the other towns. What happened when they come back? That is the point now. Are they going to restart it again? For instance, I go to Mali for two weeks, and the process is 10 days. So what happened to the people when they are back mm. after the 10 days? Are they going to continue the exercise, right. or are they going to say no? Look, since the people have left, we we need we need to start again for those who were not there. Mm. So these are the problems that we are going to face in the future. Other issues are what I talk about: um, some people not too young, uh, too old to register. We have few challenges there. People bringing in young people to register, and their age is not being determined. Right. Who then determines the age of a young man who comes to say I'm 18 years mm. or I am not? Mm. Now these are other challenges. Right. There is there is a challenge form there, but how long is it going to wait? If you fill in the challenge form for a minor, are you going to say that they are now going to investigate on his age and, and, come, back and come back to register? You, you, you're, you, it is 40 days now. If you think that the, the, the slow process somehow would affect the, the final figure or the, those who will be eligible to be registered, are you suggesting an extension of the 40-day period? I think so. I think that the, the 40 days is, is not that much mm. because the first issue is that the exercise needs some kind of education, right? The voters themselves need to be educated. People you think it was not properly done? Or I think that it totally was, or wholly done. It was. It was not hundred percent because practical things are different from theoretical issues. Mm. So I believe that the people on the ground need to be more educated. The registered the voters, the, the, then these people who register them, that is the staff of the EC, also need to be more educated on these issues. So I believe that they should give an extension of time. After the 40 days, mm. they should go for another maybe two weeks or three more weeks because we have enough time to, after compiling the whole thing and seeing whether we have enough voters or not, they can try the exercise again for another 20 days mm. so that we get everybody to be registered. To, to, to be registered. Because some people get mad when they come to sit down with the whole day. You see, in some places that we observe, there were preferences. You come and then you are just allowed to go in.